The Doberman is an extremely capable guard dog, fast, athletic and highly intelligent. But can this magnificent guardian be trusted in a home environment around children and other pets? Well, in today's video, we're going to see whether the Doberman is a gentle protector for a family or a serious threat to them. Welcome back to the Femria Doberman Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FemriaCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Doberman, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Doberman companions. So if you love the Doberman as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss one of our future Doberman videos. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a good look at the elegant Doberman's suitability as a family dog. Can this dog be trusted to not attack children and other pets in your household? Well, to answer this question, let's briefly look at the history of this loyal guardian because that will inform the dog breed that we see today and will help answer our question. Named after its creator, the German tax collector Karl Doberman, this breed was created for the precise purpose to protect its handler. Due to his profession, Mr. Doberman was in dire need of a reliable personal protection dog, an obedient companion who he could take along to his house calls, and at the same time an alert dog who he could trust to rise to the occasion should any unruly taxpayer decide to assault Mr. Doberman. Around 1890, he crossed Rottweilers, York Terriers, German Pinchers with larger breeds like Great Danes and the English Greyhound. Whilst the Rottweiler and the Terrier and the Pincher ensured necessary readiness to strike in his new dog, the Greyhound made it gentler. Mixing in smooth-coated sheep herding dogs will have equipped the new breed with an extra bit of trainability and reliability. The fruit of the tax collector's labour were large athletic dogs who possessed a highly natural intimidation factor. At the same time, the Doberman he created was closely bonded to its owner and very dependable. In the years and then decades that followed, the Doberman quickly gained recognition throughout all of the world as superb service dogs for police and military, as quick and agile sports dogs and one of the best personal protection dogs in the entire world. The Doberman we have today is an excellent guardian who will protect its loved ones and its territory without any formal guard dog training. But even though Dobermans were bred as personal protection and guard dogs, they do come with a high prey drive. The desire to go after animals such as rodents, cats or even deer and wild boar stems from the Doberman's ancestors, mainly the English Greyhound, the Great Dane and the German Pincher. It is precisely this pesky prey drive that can pose a challenge when introducing especially an adult Doberman into a household with small children and other pets. If not socialised from an early age onwards with kids and other animals, these dogs' keen hunting instincts can be triggered by sudden movements. With this breed, it is recommended to introduce a young puppy into the household, especially if you have young children or smaller pets like toy-sized dogs, rabbits or guinea pigs would be a good example. Unfortunately, there are Dobermans who have attacked children and it would be naive to ignore these incidents. However, when we look more closely into such cases, we often find that the dog who bit a child was not allowed to live in the house. Instead, the supposedly aggressive Doberman had been confined to life in a kennel or on a chain since it was a young puppy, which suggests that the dog's apparent aggression might have been triggered by a sudden movement of the child, evoking a bite reflex typical for hunting dogs. In any case, and however it came to be, most likely Dobermans who bite children, or other pets for this matter, have not grown up in the same household with them, and they have not been provided with the firm leadership of an experienced, calm, consistent handler. Hey guys, sorry to very quickly interrupt this video, but I just wanted to let you know that we've got a completely brand new quiz over on FemriaCanineLeaders.com, all about the best German guard dog breed for you. It's completely free, so whether you're thinking about getting a German guard dog, breed and you can't decide which one might be for you or just out of a bit of fun or curiosity you want to go and check out that quiz and see which breed that I think would be the best fit for you so again there'll be a link down in the description box below we've got a few quizzes and we're bringing out new quizzes all the time they're completely free they're fun as well as hopefully educational and help me help you pick the perfect breed for you avoiding accidents like Dobermans biting kids or other pets requires 
every human member of the household to be that dog's calm, consistent leader. If this is not possible because your children are still too small to be calm, left alone, a calm leader to a dog, then it is your responsibility as a dog's handler to ensure their safety. If your Doberman respects your guidance, it is not likely to snap at your child. Of course, it goes without saying that you should never leave a Doberman and a young child together without any kind of supervision. Now, I know what we just said sounds kind of negative, but these are large, fast and energetic dogs and must be handled accordingly. A Doberman without rules, boundaries and limitations can easily contribute to the breed's reputation as being potentially dangerous. However, with the right kind of leadership and socialisation, Dobermans can absolutely make sweet and gentle family guardians. When growing up as part of the family, they are deeply loyal and accepting of other pets. In fact, Dobermans can become so attached to their people that going anywhere in the house without them following is a challenge. This breed forms very strong bonds with their owners and is a surprisingly affectionate to the point that most owners will call them Velcro dogs. Despite their high energy levels, they are quiet in the house and love nothing more than curling up and cuddling with you on the sofa. Dobermans are best suited for families who lead an active lifestyle and who want a dog who is up for plenty of outings and adventures. And this kind of wraps up our discussion of the Doberman's behaviour towards children and other pets in the household. As we saw, these light-footed guard dogs can be extremely loving, loyal and deeply affectionate family companions, especially if educated properly and allowed to share their home with their family so that they are socialised from the day they come home. Dobermans thrive when given the opportunity to be around their people most of the time. So give that to them. Give them the leadership that they desire. Give them the rules, boundaries and expectations that help them thrive and you will have a wonderful family guardian. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget if you're new here to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We've got two new dedicated Doberman videos coming here to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Doberman Show. Show.